I just wanted to take a few minutes today to show you what I'm doing with my original hydroponic system. I had set up a flood and drain table and originally I was floating styrofoam rafts with the lettuce growing in it. I wasn't happy with the amount of space that each plant could get and the yields were just too low for what I'm trying to do selling to the restaurants so that's why I switched over to the NFT system so I could grow a lot more plants but I didn't want the system to go to waste. I invested a lot of money in it and time. I built these by myself from PVC pipe and just put brackets in to brace the corners. I bought these flood tables at my local hydroponics store. They were around $100 a piece. Um, surrounded them with the mylar for reflection. And this is my reservoir. It holds 100 gallons of water. I got it at my local ag tractor supply for around $60. And I filled my flood table with the lava rock, or these are the expanded clay pellets. It took forever to wash them. I had to rinse all of the dust off of them. Um, that's a major pain in the butt. I'm almost done. Halfway, I want to fill it all the way up to the four inches. And I also have to fill the other table up to the four inch line. You need to have equal volume of water to grow bed space in order to properly convert all of the um, ammonia from the fish waste into the nitrates. Um, nitrites. This gravel actually filters all of that out to clean the waste uh, and the plants will also do that, filtering out the waste from the bed. Also I'm going to put worms in the grow bed itself and they'll actually eat the expired uh, roots so that I don't have to spend as much time cleaning the bed out in the future. I'm going to start with tilapia. Probably do 20 tilapia in this 100 ga gallon tank so I don't overstress the fish. I need to really take some time to figure out what I'm going to do as far as you know, the ratio of fish to plants. I'm new to this aquaponics setup, so I'm going to take some time to learn it before I try to upscale it to commercial business. Right now I filled um, the, gal the reservoir with 100 gallons of water, like I said, and the bubblers, air stones are in there um, providing oxygen. And I guess I have to wait 30 days for the nitrates to convert all of the ammonia out of the water and then I'll be able to put my fish in and they won't um, find the water toxic. And um, I'm hoping like after about a week of the fish being in the system I'm going to start growing plants. I'll probably start cycling the water through the grow bed before that just to filter out the um, waste from the fish. But then I'm going to start my plants and I have a thousand watt grow light right now. I've got the metal halide in for starting my plants. I think I'm going to grow some tomatoes and basil and lettuces and arugula, but I also am really excited to try some uh, radishes. I love radishes and I seen that you can grow radishes in the expanded clay and it grows pretty well. So I can't wait to see how that goes. But just giving you an update see what's going on and I'll get back to you when I've got plants in the system and fish. Can't wait.